and hello YouTube welcome to this video so this is uh, I guess part two of uh, control design simulation so um, this is a uh, part of a video in the series um, where I start to do lots of tricks in Manjaro and I installed a uh, lab view the last time in an OpenSUSE leap docker container and then I started with a control design and simulation module of course that actually failed okay uh, and I installed it inside this uh, OpenSUSE leap uh, OpenSUSE leap uh, uh, you can call that container so let's start running it and we'll go through how to sort this thing out okay so we're going to again run with the environment of display display oops display net equals host privileged and um, open SUSE leap. Oh, I forgot the run command. Okay, so we're going to run our container again. And let's uh, just revise what, recap what happened you know, the last time. So I'm going to run as per normal. Um, okay, so uh, the last time I actually... Uh, Okay, maybe I shouldn't make a blank VI. I can try the testing in the Docker VI. Okay, so um, yeah, last time we had this uh, segment, uh, lab view, some kind of segmentation fault, right? Okay, uh, and how was this triggered? Okay, it was triggered basically when I start trying to put in this control design simulation loop and the whole thing breaks. Okay, and this is a uh, signal sec V which I think is a signal segmentation or some something like that. I don't know what it is. It says reason not map to object, attempt to reference address and all. Now, um, uh, I am not that sure why this happens. However, when I try, uh, I tried the, this method on a standard desktop install of OpenSUSE, it works perfectly. So, um, uh, I thought back and forth, you know, uh, should I, uh, should I like, you know, install extra libraries? And if so, what are the missing libraries? So I, I tried installing FreeCAD, Parabill, LibreOffice, I don't know, all the random sorts of software, and it still had this fault, okay? So that was not the way. Then, of course, okay, the, the other question is, okay, what if, uh, how, how can we provide, you know, this uh, lab view? with a full desktop environment that is similar to OpenSUSE. So, um, well, I tried, yeah. I, I, behind the scenes of the video, I actually tried copying the entire LabVIEW files. So you can see, go to user, uh, local, and you see the national instruments uh, file here. And this is where I actually copied the LabVIEW 2018-64 into LabVIEW 2020-64 to get the control design simulation palette running. Okay, so uh, what, what can we do over here? Okay, the, the only thing we can do is to try and provide this uh, full desktop environment is to either copy this entire national instruments into a virtual machine or into the actual desktop that we have here. Meaning to say, I'm going to use Docker copy to copy this entire folder into, let's say, my Manjaro desktop. Now, I actually tried this with Ubuntu and it works perfectly. I think I tried it on Manjaro as well, but now I'm going to just demonstrate to you. Okay, so let's uh, sudo docker ps-a because I want to see which container I need to copy things out from. And uh, this the container here or, or the instance of container here is called lucid canon so let's let's uh, do, sudo docker cp a lucid canon of course you can copy and paste if you want okay bit uh user local national net inst national instruments or wherever you install lab view and i'm going to put it into the desktop So this is where my uh where my stuff is. Okay. 
and here's my national instruments uh, folder and if everything goes well okay uh, we should be able to just uh, uh, run lab view like that okay so where's lab view here it is uh, the lab view executable is here if you want to see it in terminal it look it, it looks like this and the lab view is right here well let's try running lab view okay let's try running lab view okay let's try running lab view so i'm going to just uh, run lab view as per normal and voila lab view is actually running in manjaro desktop we are not using containers or anything we just copied the entire entire uh, everything out of the container the only thing it complains about is this lab ni python interface so if you use lab uh, ni python interface and lab ni lab view runtime manager okay all of these uh, libraries are missing so uh, if you have files actually that uh, depend on these you'll need to find the appropriate libraries and as of this video i don't know where they are i don't use them anyway so i'm not really going to care okay but you you have to go and find them so this this is a clunky ish workaround but it has it has the it has the advantage of not needing to go into docker every time so i'm going to make a project and let's test out the control design and simulation suite so if you did the if you do the control design simulation suite uh if you do it this way um yeah basically uh yeah we will be able to run run it run lab view without the uh, docker and we are actually able to uh okay i'm going to make a blank vi we are able to run lab view without docker and it's going to integrate very nicely into our system so look all all the pallets are here nicely for you so okay so uh the trick is basically you install and uh use the use open uh use open to install lab view okay it will use uh the rpm uh red hat package manager to extract all the files and basically you'll have all your binaries uh available in open and now um you put it you can just unzip it into your desktop uh, which is well not officially supported but it's a clunky work around if that's good enough for you and you don't want to do headaches with uh, what's compatible and what's not well uh, this is it this is the solution we can run open inside manjaro or non red hat package manager yeah kind of a thing so let me put in the control design simulation loop you can see that uh this uh uh this will actually run very quickly because you're not using open anymore and look control design simulation loop has appeared and is perfectly functional now let, let's uh just do one demonstration okay so let's let's try this demonstration and what shall we do okay we can uh go to control and design simulation let's try signal generation i'm going to use a step signal and then it will start compiling all the libraries okay now there's no there's no uh, segmentation fault or anything that we saw uh when we try to run uh let view 64 here this is running inside docker and you see the fonts are not as nice of course uh we can try the my test in docker ignore this and yeah if we try this we will see that it shuts down immediately see it has a not map to object so we circumvented this by giving it a full desktop environment with all the dependencies now step signal is in uh so what we can do we can switch the step time to zero that's what i like it, it gives me the slider bar to go up and down i will wire the final value via terminal and uh, i will go to the block no no the front panel and i'll just give it a slider maybe a, sl a vertical slide pointer slide so this slide will uh, be able to put this into the final value and then of course uh 
Now keep it simple here. I'll not put any transfer functions or anything, but just use the same time waveform VI to wire out the chart. Okay, so uh, that's not all we have to do. We still have to control the uh, uh, not, not, uh, control the control design simulation loop. Set the parameters right. Final time is infinite. We do a Ranga Kata 1 Euler solver. Okay, synchronize loop to timing source and we auto period. Now we should be able to run it. Okay, so you see, uh, this is at zero. We can slide the pointer up and our values will change according to where we change the pointer. Okay, so now that's the first demo. It's a very simple demo. Yeah, so you you can try try it yourself. You can put in uh, you can put in uh, what do you call that um. Uh, control your your own VIs and everything. Uh, with uh, okay, let me. S okay, I I want to save the untitled. Maybe I'll just save it on desktop. Test one. Then this this I don't save. And there you go. Test one dot VI is here, which you can open up with lab view. Okay, and uh, I'll just skip everything else. So, uh, just go to National Instruments. So, uh, I mean, let's go to Desktop. We go to um. Uh, where where are we going to? Uh, we go to National Instruments. We go to Lab View twenty twenty. Sixty four. Of course, we, we can actually uh, PWD here. And of course, later we can use an alias to replace all of this with lab view, right? <clears throat> yeah, so we can just run lab view as is, like so. And then, yeah, lab view will run. Then you can use lab view to open all the files you want, including this test one.vi. Okay. Now investigate the errors later, doesn't really matter, I don't really care about the errors, I just want my VIs to work. <coughs> okay, see? So uh this this works okay if you want to have lab view inside the running inside and you want to design VIs. Um just a disclaimer, I have not tested it with any instruments like uh national instruments uh kind of thing. Um for that, maybe a Windows is still better. But as far as designing and stuff goes, this, this still works pretty well. Um, yeah, but you, well, if you if you know, uh, if you have tried it before in Windows, uh, let me know if it works. Or if you tried it in Linux, even better. Let me know if uh, this, this, uh, this method works. Okay, so you see the slide goes up and down and um, that, that shows you that uh, the simulation, the control design simulation VIs are working perfectly. And yeah, I will not uh, be demonstrating too much here or, or go any further. Of course, there are some bugs. You can see this, this uh, VIs are not as nice looking. You see they are like dragged all over the place. Okay, but um, in terms of the major functionality, everything seems to be working pretty decently. Okay. So that's all I have for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.